Hi, I welcome you all to this session on understanding time evaluation for payroll processing. In the previous videos, we have seen a holiday calendar, calendar uh, that creation of holiday calendar. We have also seen that work rest schedule, daily work schedule, period work schedule, and uh, period work schedule uh, uh, schedule with valuations. So work schedule rules also we have seen. We have seen also that uh, uh, creation of work schedule, change we have how to bring about changes in work schedule and display we have also seen. In this uh, session we are going to discuss about that uh, the importance of understanding or the significance of time valuations for payroll processing. Okay. So, what is this time evaluation? So, this time evaluation is evaluation of time. It has various uh, basic purpose of this time evaluation is to calculate paid days, number of calculated paid days, so that this payroll calculation can be processed. Okay. So, how it is done? Normally, on the basis of number of uh, working days, that planned working days, and uh, record of absence from work. So, these are the drivers, or these are the uh, that. Uh, basis on for uh, on on which we can process this so for this so uh, we use a t code for time evaluation that is called that is called uh, this uh, uh, t code we are going to use this is called pt 60 for uh, time evaluations okay so actually time evaluations is done through this time driver that is called t code pt 60 so evaluations happens through process flow actual process flow so a uh, planned working time and uh, process flow that is called planned working time and work schedule number of working days number of working hours and shift timings so number of working hours uh, hours we have seen like uh, 9 hours we have done the shift and also from shift like whether it is morning shift means it is 9 hours morning or something day like that it is done so this is the base actually so this can be reflected that uh, attendance can be reflected in the punch in and punch out biometric machine uh, ma machines okay which is uh, stored in info type 201 this is 201 this is actually it is getting stored here okay so this is getting stored in 201 uh, 2011 info type so this is called record of time event because it records the time event so punch in and punch out data are getting stored or get, are getting mapped with ship timings here so for this what is required that we have to use the t code this is called it007 planned working time so we have to use this so if uh, employees punch in and punch out data are not available in this info type maybe the uh, employee is uh, on tour or leave but here we should not uh, that we should not deduct this okay. so we have to check that uh, info type like the you can see this leave record okay like if the person has been on leave okay so then we can check check the leave record that is called leave record or in sap language it is called absence record okay so this absence record is getting stored or are st absent record is stored in the info type called 201 this info type it is normally stored if still record is missing means the person is not uh, found to be absent okay missing don't deduct the number of paid days so check it that is info type 202 okay maybe he may not be on leave but he may be on official duty certain kind of official duty may be on training or client meeting for which the person has not been able to that um, attend the office so this is also on duty so this is non physical attendance you can see this is non physical absence you can see the person has been on duty okay has been on duty okay. if still records are missing don't detect the number of dates check Info type 203 means soft shift substitutions. This is for shift substitutions. Okay, it means 
that working to non working means or fast second or vice versa okay. so still uh, if still uh, the because these are the process actually before final deducting uh, the the a salary because of the absence we have to check all these things if still the person is found that is that the time data is missing the employee's time data is missing you can first finally check this info type that is called it 0 0 0 0 that is for actions there are several actions like we have configured one for hiring but there are also some other options actually the uh, person might have been transferred to other department or certain locations or the person has been separated maybe he has left the jobs okay if he has left the jobs that means he will not be found in the time record that his data will not be punched in and punch out data will not be found in the this record okay. so then still uh, we have to check all these things before deducting the salary or the calculations of pay days okay. so then if this is also found that the person uh, uh, after checking all these info types okay then we have to update the number of paid days so if we deduct the number of paid days for absence we can call it positive time management if we don't deduct for any of the dates it is called negative time management maybe take for example those who are on tour or those who are in the boat or like um, that uh, senior level maybe the they are many of the companies they do, don't record their uh, that uh, office timings so for them also negative time management is also done so uh, uh, if we are going to update this positive and negative time management in info type 7 time evaluation can be positive or negative from that we need to execute time evaluations for payroll processing okay this is very much important because payroll is directly linked with the, uh, the time management therefore this payroll the time management has to be executed before payroll processing okay so far we have seen configurations of planned working uh, hours work schedule holiday calendar under that we have seen working days off and uh, that working days number of uh, that working days and working or day off weekends we have done and also we have seen this work schedule rule okay so in the next sessions what we will do uh, So, in the next sessions, uh, we will see uh, leave records or absence records. Thank you. Thank you very much.